Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Right, so this is the next video. So the husband. So now, let's say for instance, there is a husband, wife passes away, husband's been left behind. So how much is the husband going to receive? So the, for the husband, there's actually two scenarios for him. So there's two scenarios for the husband. Scenario number one is that he gets a half. So write this down. So he gets half of the entire share or entire wealth. This is when there are no children involved. So if the lady, if the wife who passed away didn't have any children, irrespective of whether the children are from him or from another husband, right, it doesn't matter. So so long as there's no children involved, then he gets a half. So draw this then, husband. We can have a go. In all these examples, you can pause them, have a go, and then you can have a go with me. So a husband and a father left behind. So a husband will get a half. Father, as you know, father will get the remainder because there's no kids. Right, so we're going to start off from two, the highest number here. He gets one and one left, so one. So if you want to do it in the cake example, the nice juicy cake. So you draw yourself a cake. You split it into two. Half of the cake, husband takes. Half of the cake, the father takes. All right, so have a go at these examples. Pause them whenever I do them. And then you can check it out uh, with me, inshallah. All right, so this is the husband's share when there are no kids involved. The wife has died and she's left no children behind. Not his children, but her children. Okay, next. The second scenario is he receives a quarter. So a quarter of whatever's left. In other words, it's reduced now. This is when there are children involved. So if there are children involved, in other words, if the lady has children, whether those children are his children, whether the children are from another marriage, doesn't matter. So long as there's children there, then the husband will get a quarter. So for instance, let's say there's a husband and let's say there's a son. Right, so she's left behind a son and she left behind a husband. Husband will get a quarter and the son will get the remainder. So we start off the calculation from four. Give from four, give one piece to the husband and you give the rest three pieces to the son. Simple as that. You want to do the cake? All right, go for it. Split the cake into four pieces. One piece will go to the husband, and the remainder, three pieces, will be given to the son. Ah, he gets all of that nice cake. Three pieces all to himself. Okay, so this is the calculation for the husband. And it's done. It's over. Right, so because he gets the remainder, yeah, he gets three, so I'll just put three there. Right, I'll just put three. Looks nice. Okay, cover up my mistake. Anyway, so let's try now some extra examples now. Are you guys ready? All right, get your pens out, get your papers out. We're going to try some extra, extra examples. So pause the video and have a go at these. Right, you should know the, the fractions by now. Okay, let's have a go together. Then. So, because there's a son, husband gets a quarter. All right, put a quarter. Because there's a son, the father gets one sixth. Right, and the son gets to remain. Now, if you'd forgotten this, go back to the videos or go back to your notes and make sure you check them out. Right, so now here's a problem. We've got six here and we've got four. So what are we going to start the calculation from? We need to start it from a number which can accommodate for a quarter and can accommodate for one sixth as well. Yeah, so in other words, six can be divided into it and four can be divided into it. So which number are we going to use? So if you're a mathematician, you guys are probably thinking, yeah, I'm going to use that, that number. So let's start it off with this. So you can't use two. Remember those numbers I told you? You can't use two. You can't use three. You can't use... 4, because 4 can go into 4, but then the 6, what are you can do with the 6? Right, you can't use 6, because 4 cannot go into 6, equally, exactly, you'd have some remaining. Okay, you can't do 6, right, next number we had in our list was 8, 8, okay, 4 divides into 8 twice, but 6 doesn't. Right, the next number is 12. Ah, can you do 12 divided by 4? Yes. Can you do 12 divided by 6? Yes. Right, so... That's how you find out whether the numbers are uh, appropriate. So 12, try this in your calculator. 12 divided by 6, which equals 2, it's a full number. And 12 divided by 4 equals 3, that's a full number. Excellent. So now we can put these figures under the shares. So the husband, the husband gets... Um, Right, three and the father gets two right 
and the remainder goes to the sun. So 12 minus 2, which equals 7. Ah, so 7 portions or pieces will go to the sun. Excellent. Okay, let's give him that. There you have it. Okay, so let's do it the cake style. Right, so 12 pieces in our cake this time. So we're going to give three pieces to the husband. I right, give him three pieces. And we're going to give two pieces to the father. Yeah, so that's one sixth of 12. Give him that. Okay, so three pieces to the husband, two pieces to the father. And how many are left? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and there you have it. So seven pieces goes to the sun. Well done. Congratulations if you got that right. If you didn't get that right, play it back, try it again, and watch the videos. Okay, let's see what you got in the next one now. So, husband. Husband, now because there's a daughter involved, he's going to get a quarter. Father, because there's a daughter involved, he's going to get one-sixth plus the remainder. Ah, so make a, make a note of that. And the daughter will get a half. Okay, so um, let's see what we can start. So we've got a four here, we've got a six, and we've got a two. All right, so here we can use the same number as we used in the last one. So we can actually start it off from um, the same number, which is 12. Because four goes into 12 equally, and six goes into 12 equally, and two goes into 12 as well. Right, so um, it's a bit like combination. You're going to have to try different numbers to see which one fits in. Okay, so 12 divided by four equals three. 12 divided by 6 equals 2, and 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Yeah, same procedure as before. Okay, so 12 minus 6 minus 2 minus 3. Oops, let me just write that again. Okay, so the remainder is 1. So this goes to the father. Remember, we said he also gets a remainder with his sixth. Right, so... 2 plus 1, so therefore he's going to get 3 overall, isn't he? Right, so this time, see the father actually gets the same amount as the husband. Right, so 6 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. So now let's do it on the cake again. All right, so you color this in, guys. Okay, so we're going to give 3 pieces to the husband this time. We're going to give 3 pieces to the father as well this time. Okay, let's color that in. Uh, this is the good thing about doing it online. You can nice and, and uh, nice colors. You can delete them. You can put them back in again. Okay, and you give six pieces, six portions to the daughter. So the daughter gets six portions, right? She actually gets more than the father, more than the husband. All right, so uh, husband gets two or three rather, and father gets three. Okay, excellent. And that's that. Okay, let's try the next one now. See what you got here. So, okay, husband, because there's no children involved, right, he gets half. Grandfather, mm, what does the grandfather get? So remember, when the father is there, the grandfather gets nothing. Yeah, he is uh, mahjoub, prevented. So, okay, father gets remainder. Let's start off with two, because the highest number. Give one to the, the husband, and let's give one to the father. Right, so if you had a cake, split it into two pieces. Half goes to the husband, yeah, and half goes to the father, and there you have it. Yeah, hope you guys have understood that. Hope that that makes sense to you guys. If you don't understand it, or if you think I can improve it in any way, please let me know in the comments. And I really appreciate your comments. I will read your comments, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, and hopefully see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.